Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out the range on the 4th of July to do something that we've had many requests to do, and that's to shoot a third P365 from SIG to see if it works. Now I had bought a third pistol after the first two of mine had failed me, and I bought that in 2018. I decided I was going to wait until 2019 before I bought another one, but I was going to trade in my third pistol for the fourth one. It was mostly unfired. I put like 50 rounds through it, and it worked fine. So I traded that gun in for this one, which has a born on date of 20 March, 2019. So this is a current production P365. Now we know from following the Facebook groups and forums that SIG has done a number of rolling changes to the striker and other parts of the gun. And so this hopefully will be that magic ringer for me because believe it or not guys, I want to love this gun. I was so impressed by it when I got my first one, they carried it around when we went to NRAM in Texas. We drove all the way down there, all the way back, and I was carrying it, but I did a live stream of me shooting the first one at Ter in Terre Haute at Top Guns, where I picked it up from, and it cycled everything from range ammunition, blunt nose range ammunition, frangible, uh, just hollow points, anything we could stick in it on a live stream, and the gun ran fine. So I thought it was gonna be good. 800 rounds into the first one, and it had a mechanical failure, and now the gun only fires when it's inverted. The other one had problems at around 400 rounds, and it started to have failures to extract. So this one, hopefully, will work. Today, I already know that if the gun's working right, it'll cycle darn near, darn near anything, which is what made me fall in love with the original one that I had first picked up. So today, we're just going to shoot some regular American Eagle 115 grain ball ammunition. We're going to try a bunch of different stuff. We already know, like I said, the gun will work uh, with just about anything you stick into it. And so we're going to run this stuff this afternoon. We've brought out a number of magazines. I want to thank our friends over at Gun Mag Warehouse for sending us lots of magazines to do testing with. And uh, they usually have really, really good prices on their magazines. So, all right, guys, let's get this thing loaded up. I, I got to get the, uh, the little sticker off of it here, the warning tag. You can see here's the, uh, the sticker from Bly's and we've already gone ahead and lubed the gun up. That's why the flag safety is not in the chamber. I already lubed it up. Let's go ahead and take this off of it. Lock the slide to the rear. I have a pocket full of magazines. Let's walk over to the line here. And do a little bit of shooting. The first 12 rounds out of the brand new P365. Everything I had originally fallen in love with is right there. This is a great shooting pistol. I don't know if I could ever trust it again, even if I get it past 1,000 rounds, because I've seen people post um, about their guns that made it to 2,000 rounds before failure. But I want it to work so bad. I mean, great sight picture, great ergonomics, despite its small grip. It fits my hands. I don't have a problem with the, my thumb riding on the slide stop. Just a cool little gun. We'll check some of these spent cases for primer drag, but we know it's gonna be there. A buddy of mine picked up a new XL, which is a longer slide, slightly bigger grip version. He got it at the SIG Academy, and he said that he's not seeing primer drag on the cases from that XL, which really excites me because now I want to pick up the XL because the, the striker drag on the primers has always bugged me about the guns, given the high frequency be going based upon reports on the internet, the high frequency of the strikers failing in these guns. Lock and open every time. And for such a small light handgun, the recoil is completely manageable. All right, guys, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, but I was impressed with the first one. We'll just keep shooting it and see how it fares.
think the sights may be just a little bit off. Yeah, I'm having to hold on the right edge of the plate. So let me do a little bit of adjustment to that rear sight. Not a major issue. So we're gonna put the thing on paper to get an idea of just how far off the sights may be. We did take a look at the end of the barrel and we noticed that there's kind of a rough edge to the crown. The crown should be even and smooth. It looks like the crown is really rough, so much so that we see copper jacketing accumulating on one side of the barrel. But in a handgun, it might not make that big of a difference. Out of a rifle, it would make a huge difference in the accuracy of the gun at range. So let's go ahead and shoot it and see if we can get a group. And I also wanna mention that the grip is so small and my hands are so large, I naturally wanna hold the gun where it kinda of cants leftward in my hand. So it may be a body mechanics thing more than a, a mechanical thing with the sights or even uh, a flawed barrel should the crown be slightly screwed up on the gun. All right, we're about 10 yards away. Gonna fire five rounds. I'm gonna try to hold the gun straight and see what kind of group we get. Now this is a very, very coarse sight picture. Definitely not target sights. Well, the group size is horrendous from a rest at only 10 yards, and it looks like it's probably just a little bit left, maybe an inch or so. I could definitely adjust the rear sight to compensate for it, but I'm worried about that muzzle end messing with my accuracy, because at 10 yards off a rest, those rounds should be really, really tight, and it seems like that target is um, pretty coarse. The dispersion's more than I'd like to see. Five hundred rounds with a partial magazine. Five hundred rounds fired. So hot we had to wear a glove to keep shooting it. All right, guys. So we fired five hundred rounds with no malfunctions through the fourth P365. Uh, we are seeing the very, very heavy primer smearing with the uh, tip of the firing pin or the striker protruding and dragging that to the very edge of the primer pocket, which is one thing that I think contributes to the high failure rate 
of the strikers in these handguns historically. Now, has SIG made a rolling change to the striker to strengthen it? I don't know. I've seen different pictures on the forums, and it seems that they have made some changes to it. So hopefully, they'll keep that tip from snapping off from those lateral forces. The gun shoots good. It's reliable. It feels good. Sights are great. Recoil's manageable. Ergonomics are spot on. The only problem we found with the gun today was that it's shooting a little bit left for everybody that shot it today. We did take a look at the muzzle into the handgun. Chase from Definitive Arms is out here with me, and the crown does not appear to be properly cut on the barrel. We did shoot for some groups, and it seems that the shot dispersion, even at 10 yards, was more than it really should be. And so I'm going to have Chase put a proper crown on the barrel, and then we'll just go forward from there. I'll zero the sights and make sure everything's good, and we'll continue to shoot it until we get a failure. Would I carry it? Based on my past experiences, no. Um, but that doesn't keep me from wanting to shoot this thing a lot. I won't carry it, but I like shooting it. It's a cool little gun. And hopefully the XL that's coming out here soon or is starting to release right now, which is the bigger version of this, doesn't have the same problems this little handgun does. Guys, if you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel so we can bring you as unbiased information as possible, we are consumer advocates, not industry advocates. Consider becoming a Patreon supporter. There's a link down below. We are 100% viewer supported. Also, please swing by and check out coppercustom.com. And last but not least, we are Twitch gamers. So if you guys are Patreons, send me a note on the PSN network. We'll add you as a friend and you can play some games with us online. Thanks for 11 years of support. We'll talk to you guys soon.